I think the most exciting part about social media is that it changes so quickly. You don't really decide the strategy the world does for you. Hi, my name is Stephanie Scrifano. I'm the director of social for NBC News, and welcome to NBC U Academy. My team oversees Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. <laughs> All in all, we serve about 50 million followers across platforms. Even though we work at a broadcast organization where everything is filmed horizontally, we need to make sure that we're able to edit that and reformat it to vertical to serve our audience in a way that feels native to the platforms they're on. So when we're creating a social video, we are mostly starting with a moment or an event that we want to highlight or a piece of news that we want to share. We start every morning with a very collaborative call where we talk about what stories we have coming for the day, any live events that we want to make sure have coverage. Um, I'll drop some coffee in Slack once it's ready. My name is Gab Verano. I'm an associate social video producer with NBC News. We really work collaboratively on different content. I would say the best practices in terms of scripting are concise, casual, and context. If I have a, a script that's five lines, I'm going to keep a video about 25 seconds so that each line has five seconds on screen. We'll use different formats. So sometimes we'll loop a video. If an interesting quote happened at the end of the video, we'll put it at the front and kind of like flash back to the beginning. Try being 110 and doing it again. Sometimes we'll do little super cuts, jumping around of different moments from a really long period of time. We'll add subtitles, so if they're on mute, then that's a really accessible way for people to still watch our videos. I don't know how big you are, okay? Thank you. Sometimes you have special events like a debate night and we produce like seven to ten videos. We're figuring out the most concise way to tell you that news in a way that is still accurate, in a way that's digestible to the audience. At the end of 2021, we had about a million followers and now we're up to 4.7 million. When the war in Ukraine began, we gained over a million followers in just that one week. There was so much misinformation going around, so we really took ownership of making sure we were sharing verified video. One of the main goals of our team and our video operation is to attract younger audiences. We knew we wanted Gab in this role because we were very keen on hiring people who understand the audiences that we were trying to target because they are part of that audience. I remember when I first started, I logged into the account as a newly graduated 22 year old. I was freaking out a little bit. Stephanie is my biggest cheerleader. And the one thing that I learned from her is to have so much confidence in myself. Hey guys. Hey. hey. How's it going? She really pushed me to be innovative and try new things and experiment. My job didn't exist three years ago. It shows you how quickly social media progresses and how fast it changes. The advice that I would give to people just starting out is to learn how to edit videos. Social video is really the direction that social media is going into. It makes you feel like you have the chance to make a very small difference in what's happening and, and keeping people informed so that they can understand the reality of the world. My team is incredible. They are brilliant and they're so dedicated to the work and the work is so fulfilling.